What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about the console update for the Elder Scrolls Online. Now this is a very small update. I will link the patch notes for Xbox and PlayStation down in the description below if you'd like to read over them for yourself. The Xbox version of uh, this update is around 940 megabytes. The PlayStation version is a little under 500 megabytes. So this is a very small update. Like I said, it's just fixing a few things. Uh, one thing they fixed was they corrected the camera behavior when using the Daedric Enchanting Station, which is an antiquity furnishing. You now can interact with the front of the station as expected instead of your camera appearing beneath it. They also fixed a few things within Waking Flame. Uh, a few of the dungeons uh, had some bugs within that. A few of those dungeons they needed to work on. Those have now been corrected. Also, combat and abilities, they fixed an issue where roll dodging could cause ability timers to stop displaying. That was a big one. There's a lot of things on the console version of the game that seem to mess up the new ability timers we have the option to use. And that does get very annoying because it's really the only way we have to, you know, kind of check our times now uh, for our abilities on console. We don't have the, you know, different kinds of access to ability timers like they do on PC. So getting these working correctly getting them to work as intended is a big thing and luckily uh, i think zoss has been pretty pretty good to stay on top of it i still think there are some issues when you use some of your abilities that sometimes they just do not have timers and if you're playing a vet dungeon or trial that gets to be a, a problem for a lot of people so hopefully they'll continue to work on these timers and you know fixing exactly what's causing some of these issues when the ability timers do not display they also fixed an ability uh, fixed an issue where some abilities that could be freely cast without a target could fail if you attempted to cast that ability when a valid target was outside of your line of sight. And last but not least, they fixed an issue where if you received a uniquely named item set from a boss drop, it would negatively impact the curation of a non-name set items from the same boss. They've had some issues with this curation uh, idea since it has been released. There's been a lot of problems, people reporting it not working correctly, people reporting they're getting, you know, the same item over and over, not getting, you know, the items they don't already have. There's been some issues. It looks like they're finally somewhat getting it sorted out. I still think we'll see more updates to the curation system in general. I know a lot of people are enjoying this system because that way you don't have to farm like I did years and years ago for four years to get a burning one spell weave inferno staff. That was an absolute pain. So luckily now people are it's easier to access some of these items, but sometimes this stuff is still not working as intended. So it is a bit frustrating, uh, but a bit frustrating. So hopefully this fix today will make that curation system, uh, you know, a little bit better. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.